Hello, my name is Alnup Sig. Today I'm here at the Marine Power Headquarters in Uppsala, Sweden. And I'm going to show you how to quickly calibrate the controllers. Occasionally you need to calibrate the controllers to ensure optimal performance of the control system. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is and how quick it's done. Firstly, you need to locate the MGP touch display. And when you found it, you have the service menu in the bottom right corner. Press it. And then you press the service login. Then you press log in. And now you're in the service mode. Here, you press controls. And from here, you have all of the calibration for the controls. So press channel. And here, you can see the stations. One is usually the main station on the bridge. Two is usually the fire bridge. And then if you have more, for example, off stations, they will pop up here. We can stop it. Uh, I could have written the steering wheel, which is first steer P. Here you can see the values, the raw values, and the calibrated value. Here's raw, here's calibrated. So the first step here is to press calibrate on both. So calibrate and calibrate. And now take the steering wheel and go to the endpoints. And here you lay some pressure on it and hold it for around three seconds. Then you go to the other side, lay some pressure on it, wait 3 seconds, then you go to neutral. Then you press calibrate, and then calibrate again. And now you're done for this 2 protest meters. Now we go to the first steer stop work, which is the other steer potential meter. And now we press calibrate and calibrate. And you do the same procedure. So go out to the endpoint, lay some pressure on it, hold it for three seconds, and then go the other way around, lay some pressure on it, and wait three seconds, and then neutral. And now we press calibrate and calibrate. And you're done with the calibration of the steering wheel. And now we can go for the combinator. So combi B is the port lever, and combi S is the starboard lever. So we can start with the combinator port lever. And here we have it. And then we press calibrate, calibrate. And then we go fully forward. Lay some pressure on it. Hold three seconds. Go fully reverse. Lay some pressure on it. And three seconds. And then neutral. And then calibrate. And calibrate. And now we go back. And choose it. Stop and lever, which is combi S. And here, also press calibrate, calibrate, fully forward, lay some pressure on it and wait for a second, fully reverse, same procedure, and neutral. And then calibrate, calibrate. Now we're done with the combinator. And we can go, for example, to another station, which is the fly bridge, and that is tube. And here we have the VCS, so we have the VCS X, VCS Y, VCS Z. X is the X axis, Y is the Y axis, and yes, and this is up. So we can start with the X axis. Calibrate, calibrate, go to the side, lay some pressure on it, wait 3 seconds, go to the other side, same procedure, and neutral. We go back to channel. Press Y, calibrate, calibrate, pull it forward, same procedure, go fully back, and then neutral. Back to channel, and set, calibrate, calibrate, twist it, wait, and then twist it the other way around. Wait 3 seconds, lay some push on it, and then neutral. And now we're done. So now we have a fully calibrated steering wheel, and a fully calibrated control head, and VCS. And always remember to save. That's done by save port configuration and save stop configuration. And we're out. So you can easily do it when you're out at sea, when you're dried out, without the internet. It basically don't need anything except power to assistant and then just stay run. And if you have any questions or the like, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on marinejeffpower.com.